this has got to be worth a go. This has got to be a, a great map to play. Biggest lake of every country and US state. I've never done anything like this. So 157 locations. So it's not every country in the world because I guess, yeah, some of them don't have the photosphere on their biggest lake. Some countries don't even have a lake. The Maldives springs to mind. So they've bolstered it up with US states. Hopefully we don't get too many US states and it's a nice spread. But yeah, I think this will be a really good challenge. A very hard one, actually, potentially, because we might just be on a boat. Let's make that challenge link. No moving, of course. Um, and please play along if you haven't already, or even if you have already. You could easily beat me here. That This is going to be more to do with luck than skill, I think. But hopefully there will be some good chances for detective work. Let's go. We have music. Listen to that. Can you hear that? Might as well check if we're recording while we're at it. Yes, we are. Yeah, that should be quite nice and quiet for you. That's hilarious. That's actually really tasteful music. Well done, GeoGuessr. Right, here we are on our first lake anyway. And it's huge. Um, it's quite brown. That is actually distracting me quite a lot. We've got islands. And as predicted, we're on a boat. Um, this guy is quite angrily filming it. Or taking photos. Mate, if, you, if your heart's not in it, mate, don't do it. And yes, as you often do with these photo spheres, they're taken by a person and you get their name, Hector Navarro. And that can give us a clue. Unfortunately, in some ways, that can give us a clue to where we are. Not always though, because they could travel. Now, the other glaring clue we have here is a flag, green, yellow, and red. Hmm, I'm a bit rusty now with my flags, but Bolivia? Okay, let's let's keep a look at the... It doesn't really look like Bolivia. It's... Oh, no. No, Bolivia does have jungle. I'll get into the map in a sec. Let's just look at all these clues because... You can see the flag behind this guy's head, but he doesn't really look Bolivian. There aren't that many black people in Bolivia. Colombia, yes. Ecuador, yes. And then this dude is much darker than these guys as well. So maybe we're not in South America. It's going to come down to the flag. The flag is going to be very helpful here, I think. I just hope I can get the flag. Okay, which way is north? That way is north. So we've got an island there. We've got an island there to the northwest. But really, we can't see a lot else. That seems to go on into oblivion over there. That's kind of to the east. So, let's get into the map then, because I just want to check Bolivia. The biggest lake in Bolivia, ah, it depends if they are counting lakes that, that straddle two countries. Like, would that be the biggest lake for Peru and Bolivia? Or would they judge it on whichever area of water is predominantly in the one country? Either way, guys, I think that these are quite deserty areas and not this kind of jungly stuff that we've got going all around the lakes here. The lake. You can tell it's trees. I don't think that that's what you have there. I think it's quite arid. There is jungle in Bolivia, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not where the big lakes are. Right. <laughs> Excuse me while I try and remember the flags here. So. Venezuela. No, that's got blue in it. Colombia's got blue in it. And Ecuador's got blue in it. It's none of the others. Ah, it could be some of these. Suriname. That's a big lake. That is a big lake. Okay. That would make sense because they're... You know, they have a South American name. But I just want to look at Africa because... There's so many flags that that could be. Ghana? It can't be because it's um, vertical 
instead of horizontal, which we have. Senegal, see, because I haven't done any flag tests in a while, I'm getting confused between Senegal, which it can't be, by the way. There's one lake, one big lake in Senegal, and it's in the desert. Cameroon, it could be this one. Got an island there. What other... Oh, man. I need to think about flags. Bear with me. Yeah. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Lake Tanna. Looks quite... Looks quite jungly there. That's all kind of jungle, isn't it? Kind of. Lake Tanna. Hmm... Let's have let's line these islands up. This is hard. We're judging it as I kind of predicted. A lot of the clues are on the boat. Selan, Selan, Selan. I wonder if there's a town called Selan. That would be good, wouldn't it? Bahir Da. Ooh. Nah, that's north. That's north. The reason I'm focusing on Ethiopia is is pretty much purely because of the the facial structure of this guy, and the fact that we seem to have this weird language. You know, this weird. It's a very unique, you know, script. Can't really see it that well, but also the flag obviously does have a star in the middle of it, doesn't it, or something, but we can't see that. He could be Ethiopian as well. Just don't know if you'd... How likely are you to get two Latin Americans on holiday in Ethiopia? I'm just going to check back in this Suriname one. Selan. Selan. Brownsveg. It's like Dutch, isn't it? Okay, there's plenty of islands here. But I don't know about the flag of Suriname. I think it's a bit different. Let me let me size... Sorry, I, I'm taking ages on this. This might be quite a difficult video. Right, that's north. I don't like the way that all the lands in the background... Uh, the position like that that oblivion over there where's that? is it down here? doesn't really add up maybe the compass is wrong yeah maybe the compass is wrong ok let's imagine the compass is wrong so where's oblivion? oblivion's over there that's oblivion So we'd be like there. That's the bigger island of the two. And that's the other island. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense. Very often the compass is wrong on these photospheres. Oh, what's that? Yeah. That's a building. And right in line, if we were to look this way, zhoop. You've got Bahir Dar, which is quite a big town in Ethiopia. Not the capital, but a bloody big town on this lake. So I'm pretty confident with this now. I'm pretty confident this is right. Yeah, it's that oblivion up there that... And then that, that there is that. Anyway, I've spent so much time on this now. I'm pretty happy. This will be a great one for Detective work if this is right. Yes. 4999. Brilliant. Could have done with that extra point. We might really need that extra point. Cheers, Hector. Why don't you cheer up a bit next time and concentrate more on the, the positioning, yeah? Prick. Right, next round. Now nah, thanks Hector. Okay, what have we got here? Hector might have taken the only photo, so we've we've got to uh Got to applaud him for that. Oh my goodness me. I thought we had a satellite imagery then. 
We don't. It's from a drone, I think. But look how high up that was taken from. Goodness. And what's good about that is we can see the shape of this lake perfectly. It's a big lake. It's not like gigantic. It's not as big as the last one, but it's mighty big. It's a reservoir because you can see the dam there, but also you can always tell a reservoir because you get these, these shapes, the layers where the water has been rising and falling. So let's get to work at trying to figure out what country this might be. It's pretty arid. It could be, this could be Spain, Mexico. Let's have a look. Right, not sure what that is. I'm trying to figure out what side of the road they're driving on, but it's so far down. Ah, you know, you can see from these road markings, they're driving on the right, which actually hardly narrows it down at all. I'd be surprised if it was left. If it was left, that would mean it's Australia, wouldn't it? Um, so, Mexico? Don't know. Do not know. Those road markings, could they be... They couldn't really be European, could they? With that yellow in the middle. Am I right? And it was taken by DJ Veg, which really... I like that because it doesn't give anything away. Got some boats there. Lots of vehicles, mainly camper vans, a few boats. Um, but yeah, I think I'm ready to have a little search on the map now, to be honest. It's not going to be America, is it? I mean... Oh, but it's every US state. I'm sorry. I'm sure you forgive me, but I, I forgot. I forgot that it's every US state. This could well be a US state. It is a one in three chance that we'll get a US state. We've also got some pretty good, some pretty impressive like infrastructure here as well. Right. So... I think we're, yeah, I think we're looking at like Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona. Wow, this could, this could take a little while. Lake Mead we have here. I'll get it, but it'll take a bit of searching, I think. The one thing we've got going for us, the main thing is the dam on the south. So that's north. So it's kind of like a, a Y shape or a V, a V shape with the dam at the bottom. So... Let's bear that in mind as we search Hoover Dam. Wow, Hoover Dam. Well, hang on a minute. How far does that go? No, I don't think we're looking at that. No, we're not looking at Hoover Dam. California? No, I'm not going to search there for now. Colorado? What about this one here? The Navajo Dam. Don't think that's right either. Remember, the compass could be wrong. Compass could be wrong. That's quite distinctive, that that arm. But then it raises the question, what was the water level? That that could be an island on an ordinary summer's day. So bear it in mind. I don't think it's that lake though. Where are we now? Colorado, yeah. Where's the where's the biggest one in Colorado? Is it that one? I wonder if things can get skewed by the you know, the lens of this thing. I don't think we're there. Really, this... This looks like New Mexico, Arizona sort of direction. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. it. You could tell it a mile off. It's actually not so much of a V. That is the lens thing that I'm talking about, uh, skewing that. It's actually quite straight from that side to that side. But this is definitely it. You can see every little feature. You can see that bit there jutting out. Not an island. You can see that bit of lake there, which is there. So interestingly, that's the biggest lake in Arizona. So it's not counting that one then, which is clearly bigger. It's obviously, it's given that to Nevada, I presume. Anyway, it's the Theodore Roosevelt Lake and Dam. Let's just try and make sure we don't lose any more points. We can always give ourselves a moral perfect score. So, got to just put ourselves in the middle of the screen here. So about there. And it's a full score on round two. 
87 yards. I think many of you will have got that one if you didn't get the first one, but yeah, well done if you found that one. That was a bit easier. That lake might service Phoenix. I would say it probably does. The Gila River. Interesting. Round three, I'm enjoying this. This is everything I thought it would be and more actually. Because we've had a mixture. We've, we've had a boat one, we've had an aerial one, and now we're on a beach. With some sort of maypole. Got a dude there walking along. We've got flags. It's pretty poor image quality. Ooh, look at the guy who made this one. I, I won't try and pronounce that. Xinhua Hia. I think he's fairly accurate. So, that would indicate China or, you know, Mongolia maybe. No, Mongolia, they don't have, they don't have the Chinese symbols, do they? So maybe this is China. I mean, look how big this lake is. I don't know anything about lakes in China, but this lake is absolutely gigantic because, well, it's, it's very, very big. It's very big. You can't see the other side at pretty much any given point. You can see this enormous arm of coastline wrapping around here. So it's not exactly a hazy day, but either way, you can see that this is a gigantic lake. The guy or girl who was, or in between, <laughs> who has taken this may have traveled just as they did in the first round. This guy over here looks dark skinned, but it could be the poor image quality. This woman as well. It, yeah, it could just be that. Because look how black the, the walkway looks. That's very dark for some reason. So it could be that the light is playing tricks on us, or it could be that we're actually just in Africa. Let's have a look at China. That looks like a huge lake. But again, I'm not. I'm still not sure whether they would count that as China's biggest lake. You've got that one, but we won't be there because that's that's a very built up area. I think that one's pretty damn big. Bloody hell! And that one. There's quite a lot of similarly sized lakes here, but I actually think that is not only the biggest, King Hai. But it's also, it would match up for me with this sort of uh, terrain. Kind of looks like more towards Mongolia, that sort of thing. I mean, there is a big lake in Mongolia here. Uvs Lake. There's a lot of options here. This isn't going to be easy. Right, okay. Let's presume that this is the King Hai Lake. And let's presume that the compass is correct, that's north. The sun is in the south, so that would that would add up. So would we be here, Bird Island Wharf ticket office? Because then this inlet here would be that, and then the mountains you can see in the background. But that might be, I don't know about that. That looks too small to be that gap for me. Although it is hard to tell how big this lake is exactly. So that's one theory. We could be here, something something scenic area. That, would that make sense? Because this does look like, like a bit of a spit of land. That makes more sense to me. Because you've got the spit of land You've got absolutely vast expanses of water all the way around. Oh, are they mountains over there? Well, that's all right. That's feasible. And then you've got less of a gap. Look, less of a gap, but you've still got mountains. So I'm, I like that. I like that. I might, I might just go for that and just be done with it, to be honest. Oh, it's annoying about that perfect score, isn't it, Hector? You got this one. But I don't think that adds up. You've got like Lake Baikal. The thing is, you culturally, you've got this. I don't think you'd have that in Russia, or less likely. Ah, but then you've got the, the dark skin. Now, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for where I've clicked and go for China. Because also, if you have a look here, the, the mountains get bigger as they, as they 
go further down that coast eastward. And I think they do here. I think they do there. So, if this is Africa, I'm sorry. But I'm 80% I'm, I'm sure, 85% sure about this. Let's do it. Ah, oh, yes. Come on. And uh, again. I mean, I, this, is, this is still a moral victory. I think I still should be on for a perfect score here. But there you go. An even harder map than we thought to get a perfect score on. So, oh, wow, Loch Nee. I was going to say this looks more European. Um, Loch Nee, I've heard of this. This is um, a huge lake, actually. Probably the biggest lake in the British Isles. And it's in Northern Ireland, the smallest principality or country in the British Isles. Pretty sure it's bigger than Loch Ness. There's Loch Ness. And there's Loch Nee. It's huge. Um, and because it's so big, it might be a bit tricky for me to actually pinpoint where we are here. The compass needs to be right for sure. Let's try and trust the compass. Might even. Birds of Loch Nee and Loch Beg. No, we're not going to be able to read any more on there. So, compass. Where are we? We're there. So, I mean, I think a perfect score here is highly unlikely. To be honest. Mm, we seem to have a bit of an abyss over there. But then we've got this strip. The The edge of the spit is directly east. So, do we, do we have anything? We could be here. O'Connor's stronghold. Don't see an island. Oh, is that the island? Could be, could be. But there should be another little tiny island as well. Not seeing that. Or could we be sort of here? Could we be there? And we're looking out. Nah. It's not directly east then, is it? We can't be on the island. That's a bit silly. So I'm starting to wonder if the compass is wrong. Um, so in which case we need to consider other options. Well, do can we get can we get the sun? Where's the sun? Ah, we can get the sun. Look at that. That's south. That would back that would back it up, guys. That would back it up beautifully. So I do think we've got to go down here then. I'm gonna go here, O'Connor Stronghold on Derry Wara Island. Let's go for it. Oh my goodness. Ah that makes that makes a bit of sense. I don't know exactly what we were looking at there. There's so many little bits and bobs. We got that, that, that. I don't think we were looking that far east. But there we were. We've dropped 13 points, but we've still got a mighty old score. I dropped by far the most points on by far the easiest lake to locate. But here we are on the final round and we're on a road once more. We've had a mixture. Now, this is gonna be a US state again. And there's the US flag, just in the background of these two keen fishermen. Uh, that helps us, well, it doesn't really help us. We can't be in Canada, can we? Um, because their lakes are gigantic. This looks to me quite east coast, quite New England, or maybe a bit further south. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be a case of looking at the map and finding something shape-wise that fits. We're lucky here to have this road that cuts through because I imagine there's a bridge further on or maybe this is a dead end. Maybe it just services, you know, these these marinas and boat houses and properties. But this feature will, will help us. And the compass is going to work. So that's north. So we're looking up on this eastern part. What I thought was the eastern part is north. And then that's south. So I've got a bit of a map of it in my head. Let's just go into a state that we think is likely. What about Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. What's hard is to... To actually, hang on a minute. 
Don't tell me I've found it. No, no. I was going to... No, 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 no. I haven't, I haven't. I was going to say, though, what's, what's going to be hard is finding the biggest lake in each one because, as you saw in China, it can be quite hard to actually decide which one's biggest. And that's not even taking into account the ones that straddle two states. Like New York, for example. Oh, number plate, not yellow. So that rules out New York. Not entirely, but but yeah, it, it does. Massachusetts. There's a big lake. That's obviously the biggest lake in Massachusetts. Quabbin Reservoir fishing area. That doesn't look to me like our lake. Vermont, I presume it would be this absolutely gigantic lake. I think it would be more piney up there. I really do. I don't think we're up there. Maine, I'm going to leave alone for now. New Jersey would have slightly yellow plates, so I'll leave that for now. Maryland, I like the sound of Maryland because it's a little bit further south. Here's a lake. That's north, remember. I don't think that quite adds up. Delaware. It's got hardly any lakes in it. That's the sea. Right, we're going to have to speed things up in a bit. Because I'm struggling to find this lake. Or even the correct state, for that matter. What about Virginia? That's the biggest one in Virginia. I don't know about that. Are we further south than I thought here? Are we just... Yeah, are we just, you know, North Carolina? That's got to be it. If this ain't it... No, this has got to be it. I've been searching for ages, guys, um, in probably at least t 10 or 12 states. I've arrived at this one, Lake Norman, which me and Greg actually drove past, funnily enough, on our way uh, to, yeah, down to Columbia. But anyway, big lake in North Carolina. So a bit further south than I initially thought, but... I, I will admit I've been searching also in Alabama and Georgia and South Carolina, but for a while I was searching for this sort of thing. But they're mostly bridges. They're going to have a gap for a boat. And then I started thinking, well, maybe this is like a spit, you know, that is a dead end, basically. And, and that's, I think, well, let's just make sure. <laughs> yeah, you've got this little creek here, there. And we've got the space to the north and to the south. I'm, I've searched that much that I'm almost certain that this is correct. So, yeah. Good. I knew it had to be because I've genuinely searched every square inch of every lake. Um, even with the spit thing in mind. And I came back to Lake Norman and there it is. Let's view the results. We can be pleased with that. We can be pleased with that, can't we, Ginny Weasley? I didn't make that. Uh, 24,985. Oh, that, that last one was exhausting, but I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to just cop out there. 4,999, 5,000, 4,999. I mean, they were, they were, I think they were perfect scores, which is annoying because if they, if they had have been more accurate on the map, I would have um, persevered with Loch Nee. Maybe I'd have still got that wrong. But uh, that was a good game and there's room for improvement for me. Um, a perfect score is still possible. But uh, as always, let me know how you did in the comments. Um, did you get a perfect score? Be honest. Um, and did you get that last one? Because I think that was the hardest one uh, to actually find the lake and, and the, right, the right spit there. So do let me know and let me know if you have any great map ideas in the comments. What most of you want to see is uh, the Geodetective, and that is coming. I am pining away on that one. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed what I had for you today. And uh, I'll see you for the next one, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. Take care.